with 143 yards and two touchdowns against the Houston Texans last week. Jonathan Taylor keeps proving he is the best running back in football. You cannot argue it right now. He is the best running back in the NFL with the size adjusted speed, his ability to score on a weekly basis, and really, he is the fuel to the Colts' offense, and we can only see him getting better going forward. Again, in this film study, I've gathered some clips from his game from last week, and we're going to cover those right now. Here's the first play we're going to go over. We're in the first quarter, 8.54 left in the first. Jonathan Taylor's already scored a touchdown. I'm not going over that play because it really is just the run-of-the-mill goal line touchdown play. But here, we're in single back, middle of the field. Got a little motion going on. Now he's getting the carry. Bam, we got a plant step. Notice the flow of the line going here. He's going to cut this baby out right now. Boom. He's going to see this hole, run through it. Bam, tries to make the move on 20 here. The defender gets by him, gets nicked up here on the leg, slows him down a little bit. 52 comes behind him and wraps him up. What I want to go over here is him getting the ball, going with the flow of the play, cutting it out, and then taking this alleyway here. Another option he could have did, which he might have did the right thing here, is kick it out. Look at all that space. He's fast enough to do it. He's got 4'3 speed, and he's 230 pounds almost, so he could hit that edge. He could have done that, hit that dead leg, and busted it out. But really, he's just taking what's given to him, what's in front of him, because it is guaranteed, and maximizing this. Bam. 20. Tries to get the tackle. You got to come at him right. You can't come at him with just arms. Trying to get low, but still, he runs through it. 20 rolls off of it. 52 comes in right behind while he's trying to make up ground from getting hit from 20. Makes the play. But really like how he is on his approach to the line of scrimmage. He's a very decisive runner. If it's there in front of him, he's going to take it. He's not going to do a little extra dancing to move laterally. If it's there, he takes it. And he does that on this play. Here's the next play. We're in single back formation. And we're in the second quarter. Score still 7-0 Colts. Let's go ahead and run this. So here he gets to carry. Cutting it to the outside. And reading his lanes, looks like he's got a couple options. What is he going to choose? He's going to choose this alleyway right behind 72's ass crack here. We got some distance there for him to go through. A little, little alleyway. Hits that. One of the linebackers, one of the defenders are peeling off trying to get him. He runs through that. Now he's in the second level and gets a decent gain there. Really, right here, just... Being able to find the hole in the defense, reading the momentum of your blocks, and that is not the biggest crease in the world. Just him being able to go through that, bam, and then that burst, that size adjusted athleticism aids him in running through the tackles and allowing him to get those extra yards after contact. Here's the next play we're going to cover. Now we're in the third quarter, scores 21 nothing. Colts. Single back formation again. They got some motion going on with some Pittman. So let's see what's going on here. He gets the pitch. He's going to be taking it outside. He gets the edge. And again, gets it, makes it easy, gets the yards. Let's run this at real time. Let's take that risk. So bam, takes the pitch. And it's that speed right there. Right there. He starts hitting the speed right around this area. Right there. Pulls away. And really, he's corralled up pretty good. It's it's hard for him to make a move. He had the opportunity possibly to cut back, but... He's getting wedged on by the defense. He kind of sees it. He feels it. And there, there's some danger there. So he decides to keep going straight and eventually gets pushed out of bounds. But really, he's so explosive right here in the open field that if he had a lot more green in front of him, that would have been housed. The Texans did a good job kept keeping him corralled there. But that burst, that burst, the ability to get from like here to here, here to here is what sets him apart from a lot of running backs because that can get him in situations where he can't house it, where he can score from anywhere on the field. That makes him different. And the fact that he's damn near 230 pounds and he can run through dudes, 
and he's very decisive. He doesn't mess around in his approach to the line of scrimmage. If it's there in front of him, he takes it. And one of the reasons why he, he's at liberty to do so, because he knows if he gets that much daylight and he pops it, he's gone. And he does not need to manipulate himself, juke his way all the way east-west to the outside to be able to get those opportunities. Because really, every time he gets the ball, he has the chance of hitting that end zone no matter where he's at on the field. But I want to thank you for watching the show, sticking with me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out. It's right here in the middle of the page. Just tap that one time for me real quick, and I'll catch you next time.